Okay, guys, I apologize. We were just about to miss the join window. Holy crap, that was so close. Oh my goodness, we just got in the tournament. I was busy with some schoolwork and we just barely made it in the tournament. Guys, welcome to today's video. Today is going to be the skill points and perks tournament. We joined literally last second here. I don't think I could have got it any closer even if I tried. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look and see. Okay. Yeah, I was really, really looking forward to joining late, uh, seeing the competition, things like that, but it did not work out in my favor. So, I mean, we're only sixth place at the moment. I didn't even get to max stage before. No one's really pushed yet, uh, but they have had more time to go and prepare. Um, but yeah, they've pushed, I mean, above my max stage, about 300 or so stages above my max stage, which isn't a ton. And I actually did a little bit of, uh, you know, kind of, I don't want to say prestiging, but, or like, banking but i did get our book of shadows to i believe 75 percent before joining which isn't bad which is pretty a pretty good spot to go ahead and get it uh so pretty happy with that overall but just really unfortunate that we lost so much time you know uh like i said multiple times before this is the best time for me be, to be able to play is after when i joined the tournament so uh considering that we lost you know a good two and a half hours two hours 20 minutes or so that is actually going to hurt us quite a bit uh just i won't have as much time to play again tomorrow um there probably won't be another there probably won't be a mid tournament update tomorrow just because of this join time as well but let's go ahead and get it let's uh, you know the negative stuff aside let's go ahead and get into it so we're gonna go and open up our daily reward day 12 is gonna be some hero weapons unfortunately we aren't getting any hard arrows or anything like that so that kind of sucks it makes the feel makes the you know daily tournaments and daily prestige or er, daily rewards and daily prestige just kind of feel useless uh, i don't feel like i'm really getting that rewarded for it especially the daily prestiges you know that is the main reason why i do the prestiges as many as i can um is because of the hard arrows if i was going for top 10 percent, that's a huge part of it um but because you know there's no event on right now really there's not a huge point in me prestiging besides pushing in a tournament getting relics to go ahead and push in a tournament does it just doesn't have the same feeling um, in terms of the shop here, we didn't get anything we wanted. Uh, the video chest, we're going to go and open up here and take a look. We did get five diamonds. Not too bad. I do have a ton of diamonds and I also have a ton of dust saved up, ready to go ahead and blow through this uh, dust shop. But we'll go ahead and take a look at the shop and see what we got. Uh, but if we take a look, actually, at the daily achievements, okay, they did reset. I was wondering why it didn't pop up for the fairies, but I guess we already had it. We need to upgrade one artifact, so we'll go and do Book of Shadows again, getting up to about 77% or so, so not bad. Again, uh, would like to go and do a couple prestiges before I start pushing or do as much preparing, I guess, as I can uh, today to go ahead and then push tomorrow. Yeah, that's kind of the plan. We will be doing a bunch of enchantments. We will we will be crafting the uh, another core piece. We got a lot of plans for this tournament um, that I'm really really looking forward to. Uh, if we go ahead and take a look now at the rest of the achievements here, we need to go ahead and unlock equipment pieces, pet levels. Unfortunately, we won't get, and prestige won't be for a little while. Um, I showed you guys the reset skill tree yesterday. Sorry, my bad. I was going to talk about that again. But we are getting very close to more upgrades. I've said this in yesterday's video. I'm going to be prioritizing purifying blast and the totem. We already can do a purifying blast upgrade, but I want to get another 50 or so cards, about 48 cards more to go ahead and do the totem upgrade as well. Uh, and yeah, we're even missing some dust right now, but I will get quite a bit of dust. I'm going to be doing solar raids tonight. Uh, the day of recording, this is currently Thursday. You guys or Wednesday. Sorry, you guys are seeing this Thursday. I still haven't done the solar raid, so I plan on getting a lot of dust from these solar raids. Even if we don't get to the very end, I mean, you still get a couple thousand dust, which is absolutely amazing, uh, which is great because we are running pretty low on it. Uh, you know, if we get one stack of, you know, 48 totems or so, we're, we have 400 dust. We're basically broke. So definitely want to go ahead and start saving up on some dust. Uh, hopefully the shop resets are going to be in my favor here because like I said, we need to go ahead and get a purifying blast and a totem upgrade. But I do want to go ahead and take a look here again at the Abyssal Tournament. So I did talk about it a little bit briefly in yesterday's video, how good these, you know, the, the Abyssal Tournament is now. So they changed the skill points. This is going to make it a big, big, uh, this is changing a lot. So I don't really know what my game plan is. I do plan on playing actually a decent amount. I think I've uh, moved some things around and I should be able to play a decent amount for this. I will be streaming it if I do. Um, I'll probably be playing it on Friday though. So probably joining again last second. Uh, it's just with school that is going to be the best timing for sure. 
1500 start stage, which isn't great, but the 7,000 skill points is going to be phenomenal. And this is going to raise a lot of questions. How do we build our skill tree? You know, there's not a lot of people with 7,000 skill points. So how are we going to make an effective uh, build here? Are we going to go ahead and do a heavenly strike build? Are we going to go and do a clan ship build? I still think clan ship is probably going to be the way to go, but this just opens up so many more possibilities because of the skill points it gives you. This also raises the question, like I mentioned in yesterday's video, we're probably not going to be buying skill point chests anymore. We may still do it. I don't know if it's a good idea still to get the scrolls, but I'm still thinking the best way to go and spend your diamonds is probably going to be on the brave chest, the, the pets chest, and probably honestly, as well as some crafting shards uh, to get a couple more equipment sets completed. I do want to take a look here again to see how many crafting shards do we start out with. Sorry, I went to store. If we go to view rules, uh, crafting shards, it actually doesn't mention. Oh, you don't normally start with any crafting shards. Sorry, I, me I meant equipment sets. Like, which ones do we start off with? Uh, but it doesn't say anything here, unfortunately. So maybe the play is to go ahead and build as many mythic sets as possible. You know, with the diamonds we have, because we have so many, uh, we don't have to spend diamonds on skill points anymore. Maybe the play is to go ahead and get... Um, I don't know, maybe Ruthless Necromancer go and do a Shadow Clone build, or maybe Angelic Guardian to be able to go and do a Heavenly Strike build. I really don't know. I think this is going to be a very interesting tournament. It's awesome that it is crafting shards as well, because that just motivates me so much more. Um, but yeah, it's definitely going to be a different strategy. And I'm kind of glad I'm joining last second as well, because you guys can let me know. Because your tournaments, well, if you guys join right off the bat, your guys' tournaments are going to be ending when I'm joining mine. So you guys will be able to give me a lot of tips. So if you guys are in your Abyssal tournament at the moment, because uh, when this video goes live, it goes, the Abyssal tournament starts in about eight hours or so. Uh, so when you guys are in it, let me know of any tips or how are you guys going about this? What are you spending your diamonds on? What builds are you using? Uh, you know, wh what equipment pieces did you craft? Is it worth going for Mythics? Uh, because like I said, I mean, if we plan on doing a Heavenly Strike build or a Shadow Clone build, you kind of need Mythics. Obviously, Ancient Warrior is going to be something that you want to craft for any build, but that's obviously something you want to determine kind of at the beginning as well, because that determines what legendary sets you're going to be crafting as well. So there's so much to talk about, so much to think about here, um, but it's going to be interesting to see how this new Abyssal tournament plays out and how they change. I don't know if this is the only one they changed, the Enhanced Mind, um, Enchanted Mind, sorry. I don't know if this is the only one they changed or if they changed the other ones as well, but just adding so many more possibilities, really switching up on us, which is awesome, kind of changing from the meta, uh, which I didn't know about, which was buying the skill points chest buying as many of those as possible um and the brave chest was nice as well but I, I just spent way too many diamonds on the uh the crafting shards i had way too many crafting shards i think we finished off with 11 sets or something like that um so that's 11 legendary sets plus the mythic that i had which was ancient ancient warrior so way too many sets uh but i'd be really really curious to see how it goes in the future uh, looking at our opponents here, like I said, so this guy's only about 400 or, or 300 stages actually above my max. This guy's at my max stage. So even though we lost quite a few hours, hopefully they haven't been spending a ton of time uh, preparing and banking for this tournament, but definitely be interested to, to see what we can get accomplished tonight because I will be streaming the day of recording. Um, but I also had another thing that I want to tell you guys about tomorrow or the next weekend's tournament. So that, well, not next weekend, the crafting shirt tournament that is coming up that starts on Saturday. I do have a different game plan. So I've been talking with some people, uh, some of you subscribers. There's one person that lives in India that when he joins at a specific time, he's had three solo tournaments in a row. And I know, honestly, it doesn't really matter what time you join. I've said that multiple times, but I want to this out because this is a time that I've never tried before. It's going to be 3 a.m. my time. Um, I normally only ever join right at the beginning or right at the end, and that normally works best for me. But I'm really curious to see. He's got he's about 60,000 max stage. So that obviously makes a difference as well. But he's got three solo tournaments back to back to back, which is awesome, which is absolutely insane. And for this crafting shard one, it'd be amazing if I can go ahead and get my first ever solo tournament in a crafting shard one. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm really looking forward to trying it. Um, so I I'm just, I'm really excited to kind of see how it goes. Uh, Cause like I said, I've never joined it this time before. And like I've said this in the past, it doesn't really matter what time you join, but maybe it does. I don't know. Uh, Cause I've really only tested a couple times. So really looking forward to it. Uh, gonna try out a new time and kind of see what competition we get. And like I said, the max age does mean a decent amount as well. You know, there is a lot less people. I was getting a lot less people in my tournaments at 60,000 max age than I was at, you know, 80,000 for sure, hands down. 
Uh, but like I said, be interested to see. I'm going to try it for one tournament. If it doesn't work out, then it doesn't work out. We'll go back to joining whenever it works best for me. But that basically does it for today's video. Just wanted to kind of do a general update. Um, you know, we, we joined the tournament, which is awesome here. We're going to go ahead and do our best to do as much as we can here today. And then tomorrow is going to be mainly pushing. We're going to be focusing on the solar raid so tomorrow's video i will show you guys what we got to in terms of solar raids i'm hoping we can get to stage 50 that would be phenomenal but i don't know if it's actually gonna work so we'll give it a go but let me know how you guys did in your solar raids down below in the comments and i'd be really interested to know kind of what i should be shooting for here in terms of pet quest we can go ahead and send out bubbles giving us another level there uh we'll also go ahead and send out nova We'll go ahead and send out Phobos and Hammy. Sure, we'll go ahead and send both of those guys. If we can re-roll here, get a good one. Nice. There we go. And Hammy. Perfect. But guys, with that being said, I'm going to have to go and end today's video here. If you guys have enjoyed another Top Titans 2 video, be sure to go ahead and smash like button and subscribe. So you guys don't miss any more daily content. I will catch you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace out.